just suggesting. Turn your phone off. Devote some of your time to the Lord, even if it's an hour. If you think about the amount of time that we actually spend with the Lord, I'd, I'd be willing to bet, and I'm really not a betting man, but I'm willing to bet that we spend a thousand times more time with our phones, with the TV, with everything else that we have to play with than we do with God. And we wonder why we're so illiterate when it comes to, to things like this. Uh, you know, I knew a few of these names, Elohim and, you know, some of the other ones, but in my mind, I should have known all these things. If I'm communicating with a, a God that created me, don't you think we ought to know his character? But in, instead, we're, you know, we're playing these worldly games. Anyhow, why I got on that, I don't know. It wasn't in my notes. But I just felt I was supposed to say that. Getting back to the hero, you know, the world is crying out right now for real hero. And with all the elections that are taking place right now, uh, we're not going to get into naming any names, but, you know, the, the, the one side thinks that such and such is going to be the, the hero for our country. On the other side, the other people think such and such is going to be the, the, the hero for this country. How many of you know that neither one is going to be the hero for this country? Until we get God back into this thing, it doesn't matter who we put in there as far as I'm concerned. Same with, and I shouldn't be going here either, but I'm going to. Same with this transgender bathroom thing. I mean, come on. Is this like getting craziness? You know, men think they're wise, but we're, we're fools. Why would this even be an issue at this point of time? You, you take the, I, I often refer to, and I don't know why, I think the generation, like the World War II veteran type generation, those guys would never put up with stuff like this. I, I think of my dad. I, I think of Ron Merritt, who used to go to the church, who passed away. I think of a lot, a lot of guys. You probably can think of them too. Maybe your dad, maybe your grandfather. <laughs> my dad died quite a few years ago, but he'd be turning over in his grave right now. He just could not even believe stuff like this is going on. Why? Why is this stuff going on? Because we as a church have remained silent and just let this stuff happen. Well, then people say, well, how are we going to do anything about that? What, well, if we would unite one way or another, I don't know how that's even possible. But I, I don't know about you, but I love this country. And I really, really hate to see this country, you know, go down the way it's going down. And I don't mean to be, <coughs> excuse me, derogatory this morning, but it can't continue the way it's going. I think we, we need to know who God is. And there's many, many more examples in the New Testament, but that would have taken, you know, another half an hour or an hour. But someday when you get time, just do a word search on names of God in Old Testament, names of God in New Testament. And it's really, really surprising. But anyhow, got off on all that. The, the world is crying out for a real hero. We want somebody that will never let me down, never disappoint me, will be there through thick and thin, not run and hide when danger comes, closer than a friend, be with me forever, is encouraging me constantly, caring for me constantly, loving me caring constantly, and the very last thing, who actually died for me. Wow. That's something to really think about. In conclusion, I'd, I'd like to uh, read some lyrics from a song. And this is a secular song. It was out in the 80s. I think my wife probably knows this one <laughs> because uh, it was in a movie called Footloose, if you guys remember that. And it was by a, a, a lady. Her name was Bonnie Tyler. And I just took a few verses out of here and it was called I Need a Hero. You, you, the tune will probably pop in your head. Is, I'm not going to sing it. <laughs> but as I start going, you'll probably under, you, you'll remember it. It says, Where have all the good men gone and where are all the gods? Where's the streetwise Hercules to fight the rising odds? Isn't there a white knight upon a fiery steed? Late at night I toss and turn and I dream of what I need. I need a hero. I'm holding out for a hero till the end of the night. Oh, he's got to be strong and he's got to be fast and he's got to be fresh from the fight. I need a hero. I'm holding out for a hero till the morning light. He's got to be sure. It's got to be soon and he's got to be larger than life. Jesus. There's only one person I know that can fill that bill yeah. and that's the God Almighty. Amen. We're going to end with this song. 
then we'll just take a couple moments of contemplation and then we'll take up our offering today.